Woo! Well, it's already been a long morning. <clears throat> Good morning. And the cable guys are out nice and early and they're trying to do something in the alley with the cable again, but I don't know. So all I know is that the internet is out and the table's off, the cable is off. So I'm gonna start painting. I'm gonna put a movie on so I have something to listen to in the background and begin to work on the painting from yesterday, the keys. How you doing? Good to see you. I apologize for all the nudity in the uh, vlog lately. It's just so hot. And I have one, two, three, four, five, five fans in here. It's just super hot, you know? <clears throat> but the floor is nice and cool because it's concrete. There's no carpet or anything on it. So when the puppies lay down on the floor, they just lay on their belly, just flat, all spread out. So that's funny. And then I go, you know, try to t pet them, and their their bellies are cool. I can feel it, you know. So that's nice. That at least they can cool off. I'm not laying on the floor, for sure. You may have seen a hamburger, a big juicy cheeseburger with lettuce and tomato and onions and things all over it, flash before your eyes earlier in the vlog. Well, look good, right? I'm watching more vlogs. I'm not really. I'm watching other people's vlogs. The same amount of vlogs, just different people's vlogs. And I see a lot of people are using time lapse in their vlogs now. It's not weird. I guess it's just kind of the thing right now. And it's cool, and a lot of people are putting drone footage in there. Maybe not the best drone footage, but they're practicing and they're trying. And, you know, eventually, I'm sure that if they stick with it, they'll get themselves one of the badass Phantom Mother Brothers, the news mm, uh, drone type thing. I don't really have a need for it, nor do I feel like it's something I should include. Not at this point in time, anyway. I'm not doing anything that would make it cool. I don't even know if San Antonio is a drone-friendly city or not. If I did happen to get a drone, and I went downtown, and started flying this drone over, like, Hemisphere Plaza, I'd probably get locked up. I ain't trying to go to jail. I ain't trying to get fined. No kind of monies. I guess that's it. No need to drag this out. So I'll be a dole about it. I have nothing to say. I have lots to say, but nothing comes to mind right now. Um, what? You can't see what I'm seeing, but there's some bootay flashing across the screen. Lady bootay. Anyway, uh, I'm Max Dean. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope it wasn't too boring. I just did a lot of painting and uh, that was it. But hopefully tomorrow will be a more productive day. The internet is working. I'm, I'm getting close. Once I start getting to this stage, 
where you know the colors are starting to be put on the canvas you know and and things are the shapes are starting to fill in and the lines are disappearing that's when i get in my zone auto zone not really i don't if there's a zone i don't know if i have one or not the friend zone is usually where i'm at friend zone you know I, I worked, and y'all know this about me, I worked at a gentleman's club for, or gentleman's clubs um, in my career. I've worked at four different ones and for over 16 years. Um, some longer than others, but about four. And of that four, I think two of them were owned by the same owner. So it was like I worked for two different companies. Three different companies. Yeah, three different companies in 16 years. And for, you know, the majority of it was long. Anyway, when I was at the club, as the DJ, girls all over the place. Not to say because it's just the environment. Nothing to do with me. I mean, I am easy to get along with, I'm fun. I crack jokes, I try to make the night go easy. If they have a bad night, as long as they talk to me, we were cool, you know? I didn't expect anything from them. If they couldn't pay, they can't pay. I get it. Everybody has bad nights. And, you know, it, it makes up for it. If one girl can't pay, sometimes the next girl, or, or the next few girls, will pay double. Not because of the other girls not paying, just because they did well. So, what am I talking about? Oh, friend zone. A lot of those girls became good friends. And I know how it works. When you work anywhere, the people that you're immediately around in that work environment are going to be friends to a point. You may not hang out with them outside work very often or at all, but at work, you're tight. You know, you got each other's backs, you have stories, you talk, you know, you're hanging, you know, you're you enjoy each other's company when you don't work for that specific company anymore you move on sometimes you carry a few of those friends with you hopefully and you keep those friends for you know the remaining time you're on this earth there's only like two people or so no let's see one two three four five about five people I can say I'm still friends with of hundreds of people that I've worked with. I mean, and good tight bonds. It's like when you don't work there anymore, you only carry a few friends over and it's weird that way. Or, or is it? I don't know. I was going to say I used to be every night I was had an invitation to do something with somebody or a group. You know what I mean? There was and nothing. I'm not talking, you know, date wise I'm just saying like an event we're gonna go meet here we're gonna go to the movies oh we're gonna go uh, check this thing out we're gonna go downtown oh you want to come with us we're gonna go get lit up always had an invitation when you're not around anymore that invitation seems to disappear because and not to say that it's a negative thing it's just the way it is but I don't know what the hell I just thought about this from friend zone but Mm -hmm. What? Where am I going with this? See that train? It just took that fork. And now I'm over here in the woods and I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Here's the confusion. Anyway, uh, the long and short of it. Hey, speaking of strip clubs. I'm happy with my friends not having to feel obligated to call me and check on me and invite me places. I see them on social media. If they were any kind of friend at all, they're a friend on social media. And that's cool. I see a lot of these people are still in the business, but a lot of them have moved on also, like I have. And it's rough starting from scratch. I don't take it badly. I miss it, though. Like, I miss people, certain people. I miss talking to them. I miss, la mostly I miss laughing with those people. 
you know, there was some guys and a lot of girls that we laughed. Man, I would, I would look forward to going to work just because I knew they were going to be there. And then there's those people that, you know, you're like, man, I hope that person doesn't show up to work tonight. It's going to drive me crazy. And you can't wait to get out of there because some one individual possibly is there. I don't know where I'm going with this, but you're not the only one who thinks that way if you're out there thinking that. Whether you work at a nightclub or if you work at a restaurant or in that industry whatsoever, you may have an office job or you know, work on Wall Street or whatever. I doubt there's anybody working on Wall Street viewing this, but the work environment's very, very eh, shaky. You know what I mean? You have your your friends at work and then you have your real friends. And majority of my real friends are my family. It's the non-family members' friends that are the least judgmental, I think. Because family, whether they accept it or not, they're going to kind of give you some grief, perhaps, about whatever. Like if you made a bad decision and you have to fess up. I've made many if you tell it to a family member, they're going to accept it because you are blood and they will accept it for the most part. You know, some families are maybe not so much, but for the most part, I think they're willing to accept it, but you're not going to get off scot-free. It's not like, it, you know, telling the something that you did that was bad to <clears throat> a friend that's non-related because they're just going to be like, well, hey, as long as you're all right, or they're going to fuck give you a hard time you know they're gonna laugh at you and make you feel like a monkey and either way it's like you need it you need it you need the the frowned upon half and you need the get laughed at and humiliated half anyway I'm gonna end on that make good decisions have we had this conversation before it's my conscience I feel it it's like it's like deja vu but it's just my brain saying mm-hmm We've had this conversation before. I'm Max Dean. I'll talk at you later. Have a good night, everybody.